Hi everyone, I'm Sunil Reggae, consultant psychiatrist. Today I'll be taking you through transcranial magnetic stimulation, the mechanisms, and we'll go through a practical demonstration as well. Now, transcranial magnetic stimulation is a neurostimulation technique that is evidence-based in treatment-resistant depression. In Australia, we do have a Medicaid rebate for this treatment as well now. It is, of course, evidence-based for a few other conditions as well but of course not Medicare rebatable in Australia. For example, there is evidence in PTSD, migraines, obsessive compulsive disorder. What I'm gonna be talking about is transcranial magnetic stimulation in treatment resistant depression. Now what transcranial magnetic stimulation does is that you can see this coil here. It uses this particular coil to create a magnetic field. And the part of the brain that we are looking to stimulate is the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Now the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is a crucial part of the brain that's involved in the pathogenesis of depression. So this DLPFC has links, transsynaptic links that connect to the anterior cingulate cortex and then the anterior cingulate cortex towards the amygdala. So when the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is stimulated through this magnetic field, one, it releases dopamine and we know dopamine is a crucial neurotransmitter that is linked to hedonic drive, motivation, pleasure, attention, concentration, so the cognitive symptoms. So it can improve these cognitive symptoms. On the other hand, there is also evidence that stimulating through this uh, coil, the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, it has this inhibitory effect via the cingulate cortex on the amygdala. So it can actually reduce symptoms such as ruminations, etc., that are associated with depression. Let's now look at a practical demonstration of what happens when a patient comes in to the clinic and the use of the chair. Now I'll pass it over to Jasmine and I'm going to Hi actually everyone. take a seat here. my name is Jasmine, seat I'm here. from Neurocentric. So we're here today at um, Bytha Health Clinic. And today I'm going to demonstrate um, to you how the procedure goes um, for the treatment of PMS. So, before the actual first treatment, we actually asked the patient to come in uh, the clinic to do uh, the head mapping. So uh, for the head mapping, we do that to um, find the patient's uh, treatment area. And we also conduct a um, resting motor threshold. Um, basically, the resting motor threshold or RMD is just to find out the um, intensity required for uh, uh, the treatment. So during the first treatment, um, we do a check-in. So we do a quick mental health check-in with the patients. And then after that, um, if there's no changes in medication or there's no um, risk, we start the treatment. So first, we do the, um, we map the treatment area. So, um, so for example, on the left side, we'll do a dot on the patient's um, forehead and that will be the treatment area. But once it's done, we also ask the patient to wear a earplugs um, to uh, reduce the risk of damaging their um, hearing. So this mapping process is done before the treatment starts and that's, that's when... You, that's uh, correct. So that's right. Correct, yes. So once it's done, um, we place the coil on the um, patient's um, skull, positioning at a 90 degree angle. And then once that's placed and the uh, earplugs are in place as well, then we um, start the um, machine and then we start the treatment. The treatment goes for about, um, depending on the protocol, about 20 to 30 minutes. So as you can see, the, the basics behind uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation, the actual process. Now, transcranial magnetic stimulation is a really useful treatment. As you can see, it doesn't require general anesthesia. It is completely different from the other neurostimulation technique, which is electroconvulsive therapy that actually uses electricity to induce a seizure, and that requires a general anesthesia. TMS, therefore, is non-invasive. It is painless. The side effect that some patients may experience maybe a little bit of scalp tenderness but otherwise it has a very very good tolerability profile so when compared to the other antidepressants for example it's not associated with sexual dysfunction there's no emotional blunting 
It also does not have weight gain as a side effect. So overall, a very, very good tolerability profile. And there are a number of studies that have shown transcranial magnetic stimulation as an effective strategy in treatment resistant depression. So I hope that this gives you a good idea about TMS as an overall treatment in the armamentarium for depression, including treatment resistant depression. So it's something to always bring up with your treating physicians when you're looking at treating depression. So thank you so much for viewing this particular video. I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.